Hi everyone, today I want to discuss about alkenes. Alkenes are hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons meaning the compound which having the carbon and hydrogen. So hydrocarbons are alkenes, alkenes and alkynes and benzene compounds. Alkenes are saturated compounds. Saturated compounds mean they have in a single bond and these three are unsaturated compounds. Benzene is a cyclic special type compound. In the end of very important topic today I want to discuss about alkenes. Alkenes are also known as polyphenes. Alkenes are also known as polyphenes. Polyphenes meaning here the, the first the stable compound is ethene. This is called C2H4. CTH4 react with the chlorine and form CH2 Cl CH2 Cl. This is oily liquid. Therefore, alkenes are known as not only this one, these alkenes are react with the, the like this halogen and they form the oil type compound therefore these are known as the polyphenes now consider its structure or bonding bonding or structure of alkenes we know very well one for example that is ethene c h2 double bond c h this carbon undergo sp2 hybridization this carbon also sp2 hybridization each carbon is sp2 hybridization because the double bonded carbon having the sp2 hybridization otherwise according to vsper theory around the carbon how many groups are there this is one group second group third group three groups are present in that is the sp2 hybridization sp2 hybridization meaning it and the shape of the molecule is trigonal planar. Each carbon having the sp2 hybridation and tri trigonal planar structure. Now, keep in mind the clear structure of this ethene or this alkene. This carbon undergo sp2 hybridation means one s orbital spherical shape and two p orbital. They are double shape undergo hybridization then it form um, 3 sp2 hybrid orbital hybrid orbital shape are like this one is um, bigger size low another is smaller size low these will undergo in such a uh, arrangement and it gives a trigonal planar structure this is 2 this is 3 this is sp2 hybrid orbital sp2 hybrid orbital sp2 hybrid orbital then if you look this shape then it appears like the trigonal plane of structure now consider this carbon first carbon having the sp2 hybrid orbital sp2 hybrid orbital sp2 hybrid orbital this is the first carbon sp2 one electron sp2 under electron sp2 one electron so carbon electronic configuration already we know that is carbon atomic number 6 1 s2 2 s2 2 p 2 in outer orbit we have here 2 electron here 3 p orbital px py pz here 1 here 1 
in excited state this electron free electron comes to here and it makes a four unpaired electron so now this is s orbital this is 2 p orbital undergo hybridization s orbital 2 p this is p z orbital or any another way. this is p z gonna be this p y this p x gonna be so one p orbital is unhybridized p orbital is not participated in the hybridization therefore this both lobes are in the same size now under carbon under the sp2 hybridization then how many three sp2 hybrid orbital this is sp2 hybrid orbital electron another sp2 hybrid orbital electrons another sp2 hybrid orbital this is electron now here also one unhybridized p orbital now keep in mind here one here one here one total four hydrogens are there this is hydrogen atomic orbital s orbital hydrogen is electron this is s orbital electron hydrogen this is electron s orbital hydrogen this is electron s orbital hydrogen now these are unhybridized p orbital sideways and overlapping then this is sigma 1 this is pi 1 pi 1 formed by the p orbital then this is called or it may be written like this p pi p pi 1 pi 1 formed by the p orbital up and down it means this perpendicular to this intermediate axis both combined form one bond only this sideways overlapping this sideways overlapping one pi bond this sigma one sigma one which sigma one is this sp2 sp2 sigma one this is also sigma one entry overlapping sigma one form this sigma one is sigma sp2 yes there is how many sigma sp2 yes bonds are there total four are there and total how many sigma one sigma one are five one two three four five how many pi one pi one is one clear this is about the structure now this can be simply represented like this also carbon one is sigma one this is this is pi one this is and this is another sigma one with the sigma sp2s sigma sp2s sigma sp2s sigma one is stronger bond than the pi one its bond energy sigma one bond energy is 397 pi bond energy is nearly 284 this is pi bond energy this is sigma one energy and keep in mind this total double bond add sigma and pi bond they nearly will get the 681 okay now this is a total double bond energy double bond bond energy bond energy of double bond we have to remember because in alkyl carbon carbon single bond energy is nearly 348 kilojoule per mole here also these are kilojoule per mole this is also kilojoule per mole then here also kilojoule per mole here now when sp2 hybridation is this bond angle nearly bond angle is nearly 120 degree but here not 120 this angle is nearly 121.7 degree this angle is 160.6 nearly degree so just observe here the bond angles are not exactly 120 but roughly we can say 120 degree and this carbon carbon double bond length carbon carbon double bond length is 134 picometer and this carbon hydrogen bond length is 110 picometer if you observe in the alkene that alkene so this carbon carbon bond length is 112 picometer here somewhat shorter 2 picometers are shorter than the in alkene CH bond because this is 
sideways overlapping and forming by upon due to that this bondage is somewhat smaller than the alkene here alkene cc single bond length is 154 pico meter cc single bond 348 kJ per mol this bond energy values are very important for complete exam and bonding and shape of the this each carbon uh, what is called hydration